third quarter, belting up by 12. It's the Lipscomb commit. TJ Johnson, the three pointer of the from the corner to go up by 15. Later in the third, it's Johnson, the nice dish off to Trent West. And it's a 14 point lead for the Tigers. Temple looking to rally. Luke Law, the three pointer to cut the deficit. 2-9, but Belton finishes strong. It's west to the rim. Once again, Belton wins 68-57, to and our Mandy Knight is there and has more from the Tigers' 25th win of the season. Well, Eric, this game was all about revenge for the Belton Tigers since Temple beat them earlier this month on their home court. And Temple, even though they got off to a fast start, Belton finished strong. The key to this game is that Belton was hot from the three-point line the entire game. And even when they missed a shot, they crashed the boards, got a rebound, and got plenty of second-chance points. Now the Wildcats made three balls at the end to make it a close game, but Belton answered right back, and there's nothing as sweet as revenge. Yeah, that was a good win for us. Uh, you know, they beat us at our play back in January, early in the month, and uh, it was good to come back over here and get a win. Uh, we've been playing well right now, and it was good to keep the kind of momentum going. When we get it rolling, we can shoot it a little bit, and in the first half, we really were shooting the ball well. Uh, second half, we cooled down a little bit, but uh, we kept getting a few stops when we needed, especially in the third quarter. We didn't shoot it well in the third quarter, but our defense came through then. Next up for Temple is Brian on the road while Belton faces Coppers Cove. Reporting from Temple High School, Mandy Knight, Fox 44 Sports.